In this video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about deleting our current startup configuration and set this switch back to a factory default. Unlike with what we have on a router where we have to make changes to the running configuration and then copy them over to the startup configuration, that's not what happens when you make a change on a 1900 catalyst switch. There is no running configuration, there's only the startup configuration. And that is to say that if you make a change on a 1900 catalyst switch, that change is automatically saved to the non-volatile RAM or the startup configuration. So we're going to begin by hitting K, take me to the command line, and here I am inside of the user mode. Now I want to go to the executive privilege mode, type in EN for enable. Now I'm just going to do a delete in the RAM. So the command to delete my current startup configuration is delete space NVRAM. Hit enter. Comes up and lets me know that I'm setting this switch back to the factory defaults. All static and dynamic addresses will be removed. Do you want to proceed? Yes. Takes a couple of seconds. And when it's all done, it's just going to come up and let me know that I'm right back to a clean machine. Now that's all there is to it when it comes to erasing or deleting the current startup configuration on a 1900 catalyst switch.